Hello everyone, welcome to Code with Shini. This video is going to be a rather a small video wherein uh, we're going to see how to implement a wrap widget. So I was building a simple app which is basically a reminder app wherein you will have a calendar blocks and you press on it and you it's like a, it's like a to do so you can you will be adding some your some of your task for the day and then it will come up as a reminder uh, but not we're not going to implement end to end we'll we're we are just going to see just the the wrap functionalities i was stuck up with uh, using a grid uh, based uh, widgets which i i really didn't liked it um, but while using a wrap i felt convinced so so thought of making a short video on how to use a wrap uh, in a flutter so once created a flutter app so we have this main dot uh, wherein you will have a default uh, apps uh, app that r shows the demo app which has the uh, the counter now what we're going to do is we'll get rid of uh, all these comments first uh, use the regular expression to select all the comments and i'm going to replace that now we are done so for the home page le let's just stick with home page and title as wrap example now let's get the title as well i think we don't need a title for this so we'll just get rid of the title here you might have something called title let's gonna remove it as well all right well we just remove the title and made it as wrap example now let's move on to creating the actual body so the first thing what we're gonna do is get rid of all the uh, default things that we have and then uh, we don't need the increment counter in the body let's include a safe area widget safe area widget makes uh, make sure that uh, your app bar stays your i mean your app will stay below uh, the notches and some of the elements that new mobile devices have so we are inside a safe area and we will be having a list view uh, you can also implement uh, something called a single scrollable view but in my case i started out with something and ended up with something else all right so a list view will take up children so mm, let's say uh, let's include text with a child a text will have first for night let's see if that shows up on screen yeah that's done now before that why can't we wrap everything in a padding padding as uh, no 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 edge inserts somewhere around eight so we've done that and now let's do some style for our text style and font family what is that font family i am always uh, in favor of uh, something like helvetica ish like apple kind of apple fonts we also need to add font weight and font weight should be font weight dot bold that'll be good and font size right so font size what should be somewhere around 20 better and let's format this page okay so good now the next bit is let's define a class that will have grid view app grid view that should be a class with a stateless widget okay next bit is we need to add our grid somewhere below so it should be a reusable grid so so for the first fortnight first for the first fortnight it should be some 15 calendar days and the second fortnight should be again whatever the remaining uh, days in the calendar so for that purpose we're gonna have a stateful stateless widget which is a stateless widget and let's call it as app grid view or app calendar view now we can put the calendar app calendar view here and it's just a container for now in the app calendar view class i'm bringing in a bringing in a method wherein we will be generating uh, the uh, calendar days for uh, like um, for this month for example for August month uh, we'll be generating the the days for that so I in my other project I have this method called generate days and then this method will be generating the days and return it will be returning our number of days sorry it will be returning days day number and uh, day name and number of hours that that will be your to do it's it's separate logic so let's not get deep into that uh, this will just throw up uh, the uh, the maps of uh, day, day name, and hours in a days and months. So ultimately, we'll be getting generated days as our list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate them like int i equals zero and i is less than generated days dot length i plus plus. Okay, so also we should have a list of uh, widgets, calendar blocks let's just say and it should be a widget list 
over here we can straight away add our calendar blocks dot add and this is where we can define our calendar so it should be a container okay instead of container let's start with a clip or rect and then it should have a hang on clip or rect sorry clip or rect and then it should have a border radius of uh, border dot circular um let's say around 8.0 so the clip rect will take in the 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 entire container will be uh, of uh, border radius and finally the container now this container let's say this has a color of colors accents no 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 so let's give it an amber accent and then some child which is a so this is inside the generated days um why not give it as gray with some gray tones gray 350 or gray 400 let's just say 400 and for the child for now let's give it as a text in that text it should be generated days of day number let's give let's give it as a day num hopefully this should work all right let's create a container with a color of gray colors dot gray and should be an accent uh, with the tone of 400 that should be fine i guess um 400 yeah so gray 400 and then let's introduce a width of uh, 80 display ratio not sure if that's uh, the right one let's give it a try and then finally the text so the text will be so before that we need to put them in a variable called item and generated days dot days of i which is which will iterate and put them in this item so item off uh what shall we fetch shall we get the date name i think yeah so let's do a day so that's done and over here let's do a wrap so the wrap will take in the params of a list as a children and obviously our calendar blocks will be a list of widgets and it has a few more params like um, properties like uh, running space which will be concentrating on running space and spacing which is the horizontal and vertical spacing um yes uh, so children uh, get rid of this and it'll be calendar bingo so there you have it we'll do a hard refresh and then see okay so we we got all the necessary things over here and we can go one step further um the border radius is a bit off um we go one step further and make this as a column will that work no no no. we'll make this as a column uh, so a column widget and then the children will be a text of uh, this and then again we'll add a text with an item of um it's a day day name day number let's see how this works in this notice okay so we need to wrap this in a Now this should work fine yeah it's working as expected right we do have a beautiful rounded rectangle now the gray bit is a bit odd let's go for a 300 350 i guess let's go for 300 now that's subtle so okay so this is pretty much now you can play with this column with this calendar block you can have uh, how, however height how much height you need or uh, you can also um, implement something like padding for this and increase the padding of it so let's just say I'm gonna do some padding and padding off edge insets some 8 pixels format them okay so likewise you can do some padding and you can create a stack and you can align however you want I'm gonna do the padding for this as well so add a padding and then so that's done now let's focus on spacing a bit now we are inside the wrap and then thursday the august starts with a thursday i guess yeah that's fine now run spacing so run spacing takes up a value of double let's just go blind like let's give 10 and see what happens run spacing provides the spacing uh, on the on the vertical direction now spacing will provide spacing for the horizontal direction now there you go so 
this is kind of a simple interface for a calendar blocks wherein you can tap on it and wrap wrap everything with a gesture a detector and then you can you can make use of um, adding a adding your to do and get a little a number over here using a stack or little number over there saying the number of to do's that you need to do for that number of reminders that you need to do for that particular day will be shown up so so when i was uh, planning an up planning an ui i i started up with a grid view and sliver grid view but i thought this is more much more convincing than the than using sliver because i really needed needed a very simple and lightweight uh, user interface okay so ideally in my app it'll be first fortnight and the second fortnight divide them by 15 cross 15 so 15 uh, days for uh, 15 days for for the first fortnight and the rest of the remaining days will be on the second fortnight uh, obviously the logic is a bit screwed up here uh, this is not the actual logic it's just it, I just did it for a POC purpose now we understood that run spacing and um, spacing spacing is for the horizontal and run spacing is for the vertical direction now we need to wrap the entire wrap inside and align to get this bit centrally so let's add a new widget called align and alignment align dot alignment dot center that should do the trick so this is pretty much about uh, making a calendar blocks for your user interface for your flutter app friends if you have a really neat solution rather than this you can you can comment on that and i can take that up uh, make a video about it um, so this is pretty much it Thank you for watching uh, Code Vishini. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.